Hello everybody, Brad Pointer here with another reaction to a version of a song that I haven't heard before and I haven't heard this song period, I don't know what I'm talking about, but this is Muse, uh, a band that I have, the two songs that I've reacted to so far, I've absolutely worn them out. Um, they're on the playlist, they are, you know, a lot of these new songs that I've that I've listened to are you know, kind of the top of the playlist at this point. Um, and so I want to listen to another Muse song so that I can put one other one in the in the playlist. And you guys said that Knights of Sidonia Live at Rome is something that I shouldn't miss. And so I'm going to take your word for it because you guys have been so great at at directing me to songs that I'm that I'm loving. Um, also. <laughs> ain't gonna lie they get they get a lot of views compared to what I usually get so you know that 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 does have an influence I ain't gonna lie to you but the fact that they go the fact that it bops that's more important because there are some that may not get another chance on the on the album even though they got a lot of views you know just because it wasn't my jam these guys are kind of in my wheelhouse. Ooh, they're gonna have to clean up that stage. Is there a dead guy on stage? Oh, it's money. And a dead guy. Awesome. Why are you on the ladder, sir? Why are you on the stairs? It's not a ladder, it's stairs, but, you know, same concept. Here it comes. He had to go adjust his amp. It's understandable. Hurry, there's a drum part. Run. The drums are coming. Oh. Oh, he's the bassist. Nice. Get it, bassist.
why does this have such a country western feel to me when it's obviously not i mean there's you know uh synthesizers going in the background there's you know a really rocking pick bass line that uh i actually enjoy right now because it fits with the theme of the song and so yeah let's let's keep on going I mean, what what is this? Why am I feeling like I should put on a cowboy hat?
case you had any questions, that's how you end a rock song. Uh, you know, just for a future reference. That's how you finish a rock song. Now, it makes me really happy to see all the, the variety of humans that are checking out the, that very instrumentally focused, very, um, you know, talented band that there's men, there's women, there's, you know, humans of all flavors, um, standing out there in the audience, you know, just having a great time and man, what a great time that, that seemed to be, that would have been a great show to be at uh, that, the lights, all the, just all the, the pyrotechnics, uh, the whole thing was just really super cool. And the music, you know, um, out of the three, this is probably my least favorite so far, but, um, once again, the others have like a dozen listens to you at this point. Um, and so this one is going to get thrown into the mix, listen to, and they'll probably pick things out that make me really happy. Um, and you know, minus a thousand cause he used to pick, but it fit with the song. So, uh, minus 50 for using a pick because it was in theme and then at the end when he was doing the he had dropped the pick he had thrown it something pick was no longer present he was just doing a full blah, 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 craziness so you know so listen just, just level just even not minus anything just a just a plus minus zero all right thank you guys for joining me and being with me during my, you know, supposed mental resurgence <laughs> and have a wonderful day. Thanks. Peace. <laughs>